think I'm going to have the fuzzy navel. Uh, oh. <laughs> Sounds tempting. I reckon I'm going to get the double donkey. Yeah, I think you're looking in the wrong area. Mocktails are down the bottom. What? Come on, Robert, it's R&R. &R. Let me live a little. <laughs> no. Rose right, you're on our watch. I reckon the tickly nun sound. Boring. Refreshing. Yeah, you guys are no fun. You know that? Hey, two days. You gonna order or what? I'm just gonna find out what Bomber wants. Children. Robert, this is a family resort. Yeah, well, I was never allowed to behave like that when I was a child. That explains a lot. Oh, Mia, what do you say? Can I have my ice cream back? No, you say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Here, go, go, run. Oh, oh kids. You got me? No. Want one? Go and cheat. Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm Fiona. Kate. Hi. It's fine, <laughs> really. Is everything all right? Mia just dropped her ice cream on Kate. Sorry. My husband, Richard. Honestly, it is so fine. Yeah. It's just a bit of oh, ice cream. It's just, yeah. <laughs> I mean, don't fuss. I'm sure Kate just wants to relax. Oh, God, it'd be lovely to lie around and read a book. <laughs> nice to meet you. You too. Bye. Have you ever thought about having kids? <laughs> Honestly? Yeah. Not really? You? Well, yeah, I've thought about it. Contacts, but nothing that's moving away at speed. It's feasible they're already beyond our range. They could have cut their engines and be hiding amongst the pleasure craft. That's needle in a haystack. They could be anywhere. She's such a young girl, we have to do something. Well, the cops haven't had any luck. I'm open to any suggestions, X. We could launch the ribs, take a look around the harbour. Okay, let's give it a shot. I'll come with you, X. Right, give me NAVCOM. Sure thing. Away sea boats, away sea boats. Why would anyone take a little kid? Who knows there's some pretty screwed up people in the world. Ain't that the truth? Ribs are back. They find them? No. Must be over a hundred boats anchored out there. Yeah, high season. We noticed. Soup and singers? It's up. X? You should eat something. Oh, no, thanks. I'm not hungry. Thanks for your help, everyone. No problem. What? Nothing. What's with the grin? I'm 
sorry. Copper? Must have missed the bit where uh, they made a law against smiling. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, Bomber, but I'm having a rare moment of appreciation for your work. You know, <laughs> keeping us fed and watered. Even if the ex rejects your best efforts. Thought I might even give you a hand. You know, cleaning up a little. You. Give me a hand. Aren't you the laziest sailor on this boat? Laziest, yes, but also the most fun. I don't buy it. What's the catch? <clears throat> well... Ah, see? You it. You did look pretty hot in that bikini today, Bomber. Dude, that is so random. <laughs> Wayne said I might find you in here. You all right? Just got a headache. <clears throat> How'd it go with your mother? Having to tell her that we couldn't find her daughter was horrible. That'd be the worst thing about having children. The fear you could lose them. My mum lost me once. Really? <laughs> yeah. We were riding a city bus. Mum got off, turned around to get me, and the bus drove away. And what happened? Oh, the other passengers screamed at the bus driver. We pulled up at the next stop and waited for Mum. She only lost me for one stop. But I remember how hard she hugged me. But she got you back. Fiona Douglas is convinced the kidnapping was organised by the father, her ex-husband. His name's Santi Wantha. He's a Thai national with local business interests and Mrs Douglas was recently awarded full custody. Have the feds had a chat with Mr Wanta? They'd love to, but he's liquidated most of his assets and done a runner. That confirms the mother's suspicions. So where do we come in? Well, the feds have asked for our cooperation on this one. Coastwatch uh, spotted his cruise of the Silverado yesterday. We picked her up on satellite this morning. She's in your sector. Coordinates just coming in. Well, he's hardly going to hand the girl over without an argument. No one likes getting caught up in domestic disputes, especially where kids are involved. Just remember me as safety comes first. OK, you heard her. Let's move. Steer 149. Steering 149, man. Boss, the visual. Range six nautical miles. She's just starting her engines, trying to make a run for it. We'd still be below the horizon. Yeah, they must have pinned us on their radar. It's the Silverado. What's her top speed? 18, 20 knots. She's pretty, it's just not real fast. OK, X, let's show them who they're dealing with. Sir. Yep. Hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations. <laughs> Negative X. They're not slowing down either. OK, let's come alongside. Dutchie, with me, we'll contain Wantha and the crew. Swain, you take two days to find Mayor Douglas. Yes, ma'am. Get off! Hey, 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 calm you down, sir. Right. You sit down. Sit down. Sir, I'm Lieutenant McGregor from the Australian Navy. I don't give a hell who you we are. We have reason to believe that you have a young girl aboard this vessel. What young girl? Your daughter. She has been taken unlawfully from the custody of her mother. Are you accusing me of taking my own daughter? Mr. Wantha, I... She... Hey, hey, hey. Do back. not touch me. You have no right to be here. Legally, sir, we do. Take it easy, Dutchie. X. No sign of the girl below. Where is she? I have no idea. Well, who is this? My wife. Mr. Wantha, why did you run when you saw us coming? Oh, you were pirates. Oh, do we look like pirates? After what your country is under me? Yes. Australia has no justice. You cannot take a man's child. Well, sir, maybe you can explain to us why you are out here. Fishing. I strongly advised him to accompany us back to base, and he refused. Should have pointed your feet at his head. Sorry, Ro. Well, ties believe that the head is holy. The feet unholy. The worst thing you can do is point your feet at that. Thanks for that, bro. You're welcome, sir. Feet? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Look, if he's arranged this kidnapping, she should have been on board by now. Time to hand all this one back to the feds. Sir, Wanta is waiting out here for something. It has to be the girl. Or maybe he spotted the Coast Watch plane and changed his plans. Maybe he's the decoy. Well, let's find out. We're out here. Let's shadow him. OK. We'll give it a shot for a few hours, see what develops. Thank you, sir. Movement at the station. Uh, sir, we have a radar contact leaving Silverado. It's small, probably a Zodiac. And it could be going to collect Mayor Douglas. Or he might suspect we're still here and be trying to lure us away. Or he could be doing another run. We can go with the Zodiac or stay on the Silverado. Your call, X. We wait here. OK. Ro, inform NAVCOM. They might be able to point nine in the sky in the direction of the Zodiac. Sir. So, do you want me to write up a report about the incident that happened on the Silverado? What incident? When I physically restrained that guy from getting too close, you clearly didn't approve. Well, it's not that I didn't approve. It's just that I'm not intimidated in situations like that and I can handle myself. Right. So I'll write it up in the report. No, no, no. I will write it up. It's no big deal. And you know what he really needed? A breath mint. Very good, ma'am. Excuse me. What is with that guy? I could have said, yeah, you acted like an ape. X. What? Guys like Dutchie. What? They're... They're more at ease at facing bullets than their own emotions. Meaning? He likes you. Are you kidding me? He hates me, clearly. X. He likes you. Trust me, I'm a guy. Guys, no. Exo charge, bridge. Steer 227. Steer 227. Sir, we're breaking off the surveillance. Coast Watch have spotted the Zodiac with a person in the water. Revolutions 2000. Revolutions 2000. So the Silverado crew member has been shot. He's dead. Can you identify this man, Mr. Wantha? You did this. No. Can you formally identify him as a member of your crew? His name is Jack Shepard. He's also my friend. Mr. Wantha. Where was Mr. Shepard going? Who was he meeting? Was your friend going to get your daughter? I was desperate. You arranged to have your daughter kidnapped. Two men came to see me. They said they could get my beautiful girl back for a price. How much? $200,000. Oh, and you trusted these men. We will need some identification for Mr. Shepard. A passport, if you have one. What is it? The price has gone up. There you go. No, you're 
give you that big forest bird? Yeah. Ta. Never seen a dead body until I came on this boat. <laughs> Don't know if I'll ever get used to that. They're a bit creepy, but they can't hurt you. Come on. Answer it on speaker. Hello? Did you get our message? Yes. You know we mean business then. Where is my daughter? Safe, for now. I want to talk to my daughter. No, here's what's gonna happen. No, nothing's gonna happen unless I know she's alive. Do you hear me? Hello? Mia? Hello? It's Daddy. Daddy? Everything's gonna be fine, honey. Everything's gonna be fine. You've got one chance of seeing her alive. Bring everything, and I mean everything. The jewels, the case, everything. Where? We'll send you the coordinates. Now, you've got two hours. Bring it yourself this time. You try anything stupid, and she's dead. We must do as they say. What case is he talking about? I have money and title deeds in a secure case. Go and get them. Captain X, the kidnappers have made another ransom demand, sir. Apparently, Mr. Wantha has a substantial amount of cash and jewels on board. No surprise there. No. So the coordinates have just come through. Did they give a deadline? Two hours. Well, that's not enough time for the feds to do anything. No. Sir, we could shadow Mr. Wantha to the drop site, and when we see that Mia is safe, then we can go after them. Well, what's to say they won't kill him and Mia once they've handed over the money? Well, what alternative do we have, given the time frame? All right, brief Wanta. Make sure he understands that he's to make the exchange as quickly as possible. No arguing, no haggling, just... Get his daughter, hand over the money, and get her out of there. Sir, I don't think he'll have a problem with that. He's desperate for the girl. Well, it's his desperation that got him into this mess in the first place. Bro, get me Commander White. I've spoken with my commanding officer, and we both agree that the best course of action is for you to give them what they want. Yes. Our plan is to keep you under observation for the whole time. When you and Mia are both safe, only then will we go after the kidnappers. No, no, no. If they think it's a trap, they will kill my little girl. So they won't even know that we're watching them until you're both safe. You have my word. No tricks. We have no time. Give me your jewels. No! no. Give me your jewels! Mr. Wantha! Give me your Calm jewels. down. Calm down, Mr. Wantha. Calm down. Take your guns! Sir, hold up! Hey, Swain! Swain! taking a hit. He was awesome. Who was? Dutchie. Didn't hesitate for a second. Saw the gun, wham, took him out. Jeez, you've changed your tune. I guess you have to see it. Well, pupils are equal and reactive. BP 120 over 80. All that means good, right? Two days. Do you mind? Yeah, no worries. You gonna bring him around so he can deliver the ransom? He won't be delivering anything today. Santi Wanta has sustained facial injuries and is still unconscious. He was going for a gun, sir. You could have been a little less enthusiastic. X, he was emotionally unstable at the time, and going for a weapon, I made a judgment call. All right, that's enough. That girl's life is on the line. The clock's ticking, and we need to find a replacement for Wanta. I volunteer, sir. Good. We'll give you all the protection we can, but when you make that exchange, you're on your own. I understand that. I should be the one who is going, sir. I need you here, X. Sir, they requested Wantha when he doesn't turn up. They're going to be highly suspicious. X, you'd hardly pass for Mr. Wantha. No, sir, but a woman is going to be... All right, that's enough. We're wasting time. Dutchie, get ready. Sir. May I have a word? When they see that it's not Wantha, chances are they're going to freak. Well, hopefully they'll be more interested in the jewels yeah, than the money. what if they're not? What if they start shooting? Exactly. This is a dangerous operation. That's why Dutchie... No, a woman is less likely to cause them any alarm. No. No? You really don't think so? All right, maybe. But there's no guarantee of that. We don't know who we're dealing with. The safety of Mia Douglas has to be our first priority here. <laughs> and what if something happens to you? Sarah's commanding officer. Kate. No, no, don't do this. You came back on the ship. It was your choice. Your choice to keep it professional. This can't get personal between us now. I can't just block out how I feel about you. I am 
the only logical choice for this operation, and you know that. All right. Dutchie goes with you. No, he is too much of a cowboy. He's the one man on this boat you want in a firefight. No. No. He goes with you, or you don't go at all. Dutchie, no cowboy heroics. Just bring the girl home safe, understood? Yes, boss. Are we all set? Just about. Now, we've set a clip just under the seat for your gun, just in case they search you, and there's two spare magazines there as well. We've got a radio, a GPS. Radio silence until the girl's secure. And we'll be eyeballing you the whole time on the ER. So, you know, don't do anything I wouldn't do. X, this is one thars jewels. Oh. Tell you what, somebody who doesn't know how to speak much English, you know some choice swear words. Make the sailor blush, did she, too, don't Just about. Stow this. Oh, no. Did you find a key for that? No. Nah. Wifey says she's got no idea, and Swain looked through the old man's pockets. Nada. Uh, it would be good to know what we're handing over. Can force that, X. No, we haven't got time for that. We'll just take it as it is. OK, Dutchie? Yep. Go. Wish us luck. Just come home safe. Good luck. Let them out of your sight. No way, sir. This is it. They're right on time. Where are they? How long? It's coming up to 20 minutes. Maybe they're having second thoughts. Kidnappers not. Can't touch it. Thanks, Ro. Hopefully they're just being cautious. Mm, the kidnappers, not exile and Dutchie. Yes, the kidnappers. Can I ask you a personal question? Why, man? Seeing right here in the middle of nowhere facing God only knows what. I just thought it might not pass the time. Okay. You in charge, you hit it off pretty well, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. He's not my type. Oh, no, no, I wasn't suggesting that you... Oh, that's a joke, right. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. But you seem to hit it off with most of the crew. Yeah, they're a good group, man. Yeah, they are. Yeah. The thing is, you don't seem to like me very much. And I don't know why. I don't usually have a problem with people. I think you're OK, man. You do? Yeah. I, I know that I can come across as a little unapproachable. I haven't noticed that, man. Well, I've noticed once or twice you looking at me. Where are they? In what way, man? A little bit like you are now. Curious way. Sorry if I've offended you. No, 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 you haven't. You haven't at all. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm quite flattered. It's just that living and working together on a ship in close quarters, it, it are can Are you sometimes... quoting from the non fraternization guideline? Yes, I am. I am. In relation to you and me? Yes. Are you hitting on me, man? What? No, 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 no. I thought that you... You thought I was hitting on you. No, I thought that you might have had some feelings for me and that... <laughs> what? Oh, sorry, ma'am, but that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Well, how did you... Charge. Charge? Charge told me that that's how guys like you express their feelings. 
and I'm going to kill him. I'm going to torture him for a very long time first, and then I'm going to kill him. <laughs> they seem to be enjoying themselves. Yeah. So I have a positive radar contact approaching the Zodiac, a bearing 270. How fast? Well, uh, looks like they're going very fast. I would guess 50 knots, sir. 50 knots? I've got a visual. broke his ankle, so he sent us. So we have everything that you've asked for. Where's the girl? Alive. We need to see her. All you need to do is you're told. You shoot us, and this goes straight to the bottom. Show us the girl. Get up. Me, it's okay, but he's going to be okay. Yeah, we'll see about that. Now give us his stuff. Come on. The key? We don't have a key. What? Wanda was in a lot of pain and time was running out. He just forgot to what give a it load to of us. Use the cutters. Too easy. This is a trick. You're dead. It's no trick. It's no trick. Now, you mongrel. Ugh. Gotcha. Put it away. Let's see what a million bucks looks like. Ah! Down! Make it down! No. Down! 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 Drop your weapon! Me, I got down! Stay in there! Ah. Let's get there. Pull ahead both engines. Pull ahead both engines. visual contact, sir. We can't match his speed. Description fits a speedboat stolen from down south last week. Top speed 55 knots, range 200 miles. She can go wherever she wants. So we're approaching Dutchie in the water. You want to reduce speed to launch the rib? Sir. Slow ahead both engines. Slow ahead both engines. Prepare to recover Dutchie. Watch have directed an aircraft to that area. What about satellite? I've put in an urgent request. Maxine, my XO is on that boat with the girl. I'm aware of the situation, Mike. We are doing everything we can. Well, Kate's an experienced and resourceful officer, and she knows we'll be searching for her. Hopefully, she'll find a way to help herself. These men have already killed. As soon as I hear anything, Mike, you will be the first to know, OK? Too. Sweetheart, my friends are going to be looking for us. Okay? Don't cry. Don't cry. How long have I been here? I don't know. Not very long. Okay. Okay. Oh! Okay, no, I need I need you to hold on, all right? I need to put this on. 
I don't want to. Please put it on. Mia, just do it. Please, honey, just do it. Okay. You don't need to cry. What are you looking for? I really don't know. Bring my friends. I went for one of my weapons, but I was too slow. It's my fault things went bad, sir. Well, we saw what happened. It wasn't your fault. Sir, I... Carry on. I'm sorry, sir. Sir, Rescue Coordination Centre have picked up an EPIRB registered speedboat. Well, it must be the X. Steer 287, Revolutions 2000. Steering 287, Revolutions 2000. Bro, get me updates from Canberra every two minutes. I want to be able to plot their course. Sir. Can't catch them. We might be able to work out where they're headed. It's one of those emergency beacons. Yeah, I know what it is. We'll get rid of it. Get rid of her. Any last words? The RCC just lost the signal, sir. What? Herb's gone dead. Okay. Input any positional data we have and try and estimate a course. Well, we wouldn't have much, sir. Just do it. Hey, long face. Caving all right there? Just can't stop thinking about that body in the garbage room. Now the ex could be dead. Hey, there's no point imagining the worst, Bird. Your imagination will get the better of you every time. What do you suggest then? Because I'm just really scared right now. Well, I think you're better off concentrating on what you know, for one thing. What I know is that the ex is out there somewhere with a bunch of murderers and kidnappers and that we've lost all communication with her. Yes, but you also know that she's smart and tough. And we're doing everything we can to search for her. You're a glass half full kind of person, aren't you, Dutchie? It's the only way to be. Where are you taking us? I'll move! Hey! Move! Move! Just wait. She's oh, come on! Listen, she's gonna need food and water. Have you thought that through? You keep talking, girl. I'm gonna cut you in half. Now move! Eyes forward. Can we please slow down? No. Move. Give it to me. How much longer? Can't you see she needs to rest? We're here. Touching reunion. What is she doing here? Just relax, Dick, all right? It's all under control. So you're the what one is... behind all of this. She's your daughter. Stepdaughter. Wanta set us up. This isn't one of Wanta's people, you idiots. She's Navy. Satellite surveillance photos taken half an hour ago. 
It's Sharp Island. It's uninhabited. It's part of a national park. This time of the year, it's closed to visitors. Turtle breeding season. Only two. Mm. And it's got a forward cabin. That's where the girl was kept. That's where the ex will be. Let's set a course. No one was supposed to get hurt. Dick. A simple exchange. That's what it was supposed to be. You had the money. Why on earth did you... Listen, Walter's has got millions. Right, this, this is chicken feed. You work for me. No. Not anymore. What? Partners. You're an accessory to murder, Dick. I had nothing to do with that. I'll tell it to the judge. I think it's 25 to life. It isn't washing off. Oh, forget it. Listen, we need you to get the cops off our tail. And how do you suppose I do that? Go back to the wife, tell her you've got a message from us. All right, say that we're, I don't know, somewhere down south. No one's going to believe that, you moron. Besides, the Navy's involved. They've probably got a patrol boat looking for you and her. You probably let them here. No chance. Listen, the first thing we've got to do is get rid of Navy Girl. No, no more killing. Uh, she's seen us. She can ID you, Dick. Right, she's got to go. No, no, look. You take the jewels and your share of the money and go. I'll wait here for them. I'll deal with the consequences. Consequences? Dick, what the hell are you talking... This has gone too far! I'm stopping it. I'm stopping it now. You understand me? It's over. OK. It's over. Maybe if I use terms. Get a visual on that gunfire. Negative, sir. The canopy's too thick. Come on. Outside. Go, go, go! Which way? This way. Come on! He's coming later. Where are we going? We're going to the boat. Come on. No, I can't. Yes, you have to. You have to. And you can. Come on. Oh, my God. Come here. Come on. Come on. Oh, she's down below Miss Wayne. I didn't want her to see any of this. Just got a call from Maxine White. Mrs. Douglas is on her way. 
Feds are convinced she had no involvement. All her new husband's idea. People in love, they can make some bad choices, hey? Yes, they can. What else did uh, Knocker have to say? <laughs> about what? <gasps> about when we might be expecting a permanent CO. Nothing. Cash for us? Sure. Thanks. That's all. I might just wait a bit. But until they've taken those bodies away. They've done that. They're all gone. Oh, cool. <laughs> Roma, they've left one. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> you know, you're a real sicko, you know that? Oh, the look at your face! It was... <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Bit of respect for the dead, thanks. <laughs> When's she gonna be here? Soon. I wish we'd kept that leech so we could show her. <laughs> ah, here she is now. Come on. Thank <laughs> you.